It is with great pleasure that I welcome the Federal Minister of Defense of the Republic of Austria, Ms. Claudia Tanner, and the members of her delegation. Cyprus and Austria are members of the big family of the European Union and are like-minded in many European and global issues. I had the opportunity to express to my Austrian counterpart our deep appreciation for Austria's long-standing commitment and contribution to Fisipa, a contribution that is nowadays more important than ever given the increasing provocation by the Turkish occupation forces along the ceasefire line. In the same vein, we discussed Turkey's escalating provocation and legal activities in the relations to Varosha and Zogarpaso, as well as Cyprus, EEZ, and maritime zones, national airspace, and the Nicosia FIR. As regarding the calls by the international community, Turkey continues with its plan to create a new federal on the ground. The international community cannot remain idle. We also touch upon a number of issues of European interest, such as the illegal migration and the border security issue, as well as a broad range of regional and other issues from our common agenda, primarily in the context of security and defense in the spirit of mutual understanding. We both attended the last EU Defense Minister meeting, during which the strategic compass was discussed. We look forward to this discussion, which will lead to the EU's increased strategic autonomy, resilience and ability to act to the benefit of its member states and citizens. We also share a strong bilateral relation in the fields of defense and security. In this context, we discuss practical ways further enhance our mutually beneficial defense collaboration in order to create additional opportunities for the personnel of our respective armed forces. We also have noted the excellent collaboration between our respective defense academies, which for a number of years promote and organize through joint activities CSDP-related training courses. Next May, our two countries will jointly organize a CNDP orientation course to be hosted in Cyprus. Finally, and in regards to the content of the situation in Ukraine, I had the opportunity to discuss with the Austrian minister our concern about the military build-up in Ukraine-Russia border and the need to exhaust all possibilities for dialogue and diplomatic solutions. Dear Claudia, your visit takes place during a very critical time, not only for Cyprus, but for Europe in general. Turkey's ongoing provocative behavior and illegal actions in Cyprus and the Eastern Mediterranean region has the credibility and ability of the European Union to effectively protect its vital interests as well as the sovereign rights of its member states. Before turning the floor over to you, I wish to thank you once again for taking the time to visit Cyprus in these particularly challenging times. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, dear Karalambos, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by thanking my colleague, Minister Petridis, for this uh, invitation and for the excellent cooperation between our ministries over the past decades. This intensive relationship between our two countries started, uh, as you mentioned before, with the UN peacekeeping mission in Cyprus. Austria has supported uh, this mission from the very beginning in 1964 with a medical contingent and six years later with an infantry battalion. Our task was uh, to prevent further fighting and to restore order on the island in cooperation with other states. More than 70,000 Austrian soldiers were deployed in this mission and Austria continues its support, also today, with a much smaller force. Our experts constantly monitor the situation in the Mediterranean. What worries us is uh, that Cyprus and the entire Mediterranean region are exposed uh, to enormous pressure. Uh, Austria, therefore, looks uh, 
at this situation with uh, great concern. And uh, I would like here uh, to state um, one thing clearly in this context, also after the really excellent uh, discussions with uh, Defense Minister Petridis, um, as a member of the European Union, we fully support the position of Cyprus. The territorial sovereignty of a state must uh, not be violated under any circumstances. Any action in this regard is a violation of international laws. Unfortunately, the security situation in Europe has not improved because uh, of new challenges, risks and threats. These have become more complex and more difficult to predict. Peacekeeping missions remain indispensable. However, not only the tensions within Europe were on our agenda, um, but also the topic of migration, uh, which is important for both our countries. The critical situation in and around Europe means that in Austria we expect an increase in migration. The Austrian Minister of the Interior, Gerd Kahner, has already stated that we need more robust and stronger external border protection and I fully agree with this. We do not want Austria, a small landlocked country, to become a destination for illegal immigration. The same applies, I think, so to Cyprus, a small island in the Mediterranean. We are therefore strengthening our cooperation in the EU. We have already taken a number of steps concerning this issue for over the past six months. I have repeatedly exchanged views with the EU defense ministers and advanced a fundamental document, uh, the strategic compass, which is important, which is important for us and the European Union. We intend to adopt uh, this document in the coming March. This document aims to identify threats and crises at an early stage and to avert hybrid threats. We want to create uh, the appropriate tool for the EU to deal with the complex uh, challenges it faces. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I promised uh, Minister Petridis that in the event of increased tensions in Cyprus, Austria will fulfill its commitments laid down in Article 42, Section 7 within the framework of uh, our legal possibilities. Another issue was, of course, the situation on Ukraine's borders. We closely monitor developments uh, on the Russian-Ukrainian border. The current situation uh, in Ukraine poses the risk of full-scale war on the European continent. These are alarming prospects. But however, there seem to be some positive signs of the escalation. What is, however, also certain it is that Russia is an important player in Europe's security architecture. And one thing uh, must be completely clear to us, sustainable security can only be achieved with Russia. However, clear lines must be drawn together, together with the European Union and any Russian activities on Ukraine's territory must be sanctions. What is also important, however, is that dialogue continues, for example, within the framework of the Normandy format uh, with France, Germany and Ukraine and the OSCE. This situation shows that uh, the rapid implementation of the strategic compass uh, within the framework of the EU is very important. Of course, we also push for the development of a rapid uh, deployment force, meaning a EU rapid deployment capacity and build uh, on the experience of the EU battle groups uh, to form such a force of up to 30,000 personnel. Military exercises to optimize interoperability and operational readiness should begin as early as uh, 2023. I would like uh, to take this opportunity to thank you.
to thank uh, uh, Defense Minister Petridis again for the very constructive and uh, informative discussion and the excellent cooperation and I hope uh, that uh, it will continue in the future. Thank you very much.